What's up, it's your boy Austin Rutherford back here again where we talk business, finance, and real estate. I don't know about you, but when I got started in the real estate business, one of my biggest hurdles was being able to make offers to sellers and being confident in those offers that when I make them to sellers, not just saying like, oh, I'll give you a hundred grand, like actually knowing what you're talking about. So today I'm breaking down exactly how my team every single day makes offers on properties. So I'm going to get into my laptop here in a second and show you literally step by step the calculations we use, the, the systems that we use, the platforms that we use exactly break down to making offers on the phone to sellers and being confident in those offers. So make sure you pay attention to this because the more you do it and the more confident you get in it, guess what? The more offers you're going to make, the more money you're going to have. So today we're talking about using a platform called PropStream. Each member of my team has their own login. They literally use this every single day. It's how we comp evaluate properties and make offers using these real numbers. So once we get done with this video, if you're interested in using this platform PropStream, there's a link in the description that'll give you a free seven day trial to try PropStream for free to see if it's something that would benefit you. But before we get started, make sure you smash that like button down in the comment section, drop a I'm ready. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to be competitive and making offers. So let's get to it. So this is the platform you're going to start on once you get logged into PropStream. So what you're going to do is when somebody calls into you or you get an RVM or an SMS or anything of the nature, you're going to type in the address that they're calling about that you want to pull comps on. So you type in that address and then you're actually going to end up pulling comps for that property right here on PropStream while you're on the phone talking to the sellers. So at this point, you know, you're asking the seller how their day's going, you know, what what they did for the weekend. Tell me about the condition of the property. So you're just buying time as this is going on. Boom. So here we are. So 1153 Simpson Drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to the details section. Click details. It'll pop up. So then you're going to click comparables and nearby listings and you're pooling for comps. So you actually want to pull both. So you want to pull both of the data fields here. And so we're going to go to about six months ago. That's how we pull comps. So June 1st and then it's sold. So we want sold comps and then we want residential houses and single families because that's what we're trying to comp right now. So you select everything that you want. So you see how this is only 730 to 1094 square feet, because if you look at this, this is only 912 square feet. So we don't want to go too far past this. I might bump this up to 1200 square feet just to give me a good, good data point to use. So if you look at this and you zoom in just a tiny bit so you can see that there's comps all over the place. So once you learn neighborhoods, you will be able to know what the cross streets are. So you can draw a map of that neighborhood. So you're only pulling comps for that neighborhood. So these are the comps that I'm going to be using because these are the most accurate and closest to my property. So we're going to wait for it to finish loading here. But what we want to know is we're looking for a three bed, one bath house, 912 square feet, no garage. And we're going to try and comp it to find what the property's worth fully fixed up. So then we come over here and you see it's got public record sale and MLS sale. So like I said, a lot of these houses sell on the MLS, but a lot of them don't sell on the MLS. A lot of them are just sold off market. So that's why these public record sales come in big time because we wouldn't know that if we were just using that on the MLS. That's why I like to use PropStream because it gives us more data than what's usually out there available to us. So if you jump in here, so we're looking, here's the specs, so 912, four bed, two bath, that's not what we want. So let's do bedrooms. So we're gonna do three bedrooms minimum and three bedrooms maximum. So that'll cut out a lot of these comps because some of them are four bed comps and some of them are two bed comps. I'm trying to comp it exactly like for like. So I wanna comp against three bedroom comps. So all these are 912 square feet, 1056 square feet. So all these are pretty similar in size. They all have three beds. Some have two baths, most of them have one bath. So now I'm trying to find out what the value is here. I'm going to pop over here and see because this one, so 100 grand, that's way lower. 123, 123, 132, 132, 143. So I want to find out what the difference between the 123 and the 143 are. So the 123 is three bed, two bath. The 143 is three bed, one bath. So if you look at the pictures, which I'm guessing is what the difference is going to be, one of these are probably a lot more renovated than the other ones. 
So something else when you're comping too, you want to make sure you're comping in the right neighborhood because sometimes if you comp in the wrong neighborhood, if you comp across the street, it's an entirely different neighborhood at times. So you want to be careful not to miss comp houses based on the wrong neighborhoods. But if you look at these pictures, I mean, this, this bad boy is fully renovated. It's got new everything. So this is a really new house. So this one sold a 143, three bed, one bath, 912 square feet. Our exact house just renovated. So that's for 143 grand. Let's see what this 123 was selling for or looked like, because I'm guessing it's probably not renovated and that's why it sold for less. But we will see here in just one second. So looking at this, this house is actually renovated, which is surprising. So there's got to be another reason why it's selling for 20 grand less. So if you look through this, you can see that it's on a crawl space right here and there's no pictures of the basement. So the other house had a basement. This one did not have a basement. So that's the difference in the sale price of the $20,000. One had a basement and one did not. So I'm going to look for another one here. It's three bed, two bath, 1,050 square feet, 150,000. Let's pull up the pictures on this. I'm assuming that this one has a bathroom and is fully renovated because of the price of 150,000, but we're going to find out right now. So if we're looking at this, you know, nice kitchen, updated cabinets, you know, flooring, paint, everything looks good. Updated bathrooms, got tile showers. Here's the basement. So it's a full finished basement with a laundry machine. So this has a full basement. So that's why these are selling for more. So the ones with full basements are selling at about 143 to 150. This one was a little bit bigger and it had two full bathrooms right here. So we're not comping ours at 150. We're going to comp ours at 143 because this is literally the same exact house and ours has a basement to it. So quickly on the phone, I know this took us some time here to talk about it, but you can look at these pictures very, very quickly. See the 123, boom, that doesn't have a basement. 143, boom, it has a basement, same exact house. 150 has a basement, a little bit bigger, one extra bathroom, that's why it sold for seven grand more. All right, cool, so my ARV is 143. So you know that right away in a couple minutes that your ARV is $143,000 while you're still on the phone talking with the seller. So then next, you have to figure out what you're gonna offer the seller. So I'm going to jump back to me here, but this is why we use PropStream is because it gives us all the data that we need right here at our fingertips and we can find the comps in a matter of minutes while we're still on the phone with the seller. So now that we know the ARV of $143,000, now you got to figure out how to make an offer. So in today's market, usually people are taking 70 to 75% of the ARV, depends on the market that you're in. Some markets even go up to 80, maybe even 81 or 82%, but 70 to 75 we're going to use 75 percent of the value for this example so you take 143 times 75 percent which is hundred and seven thousand dollars then you have to subtract the repair budget then you have to subtract your wholesale fee and then that is your mayo your maximum allowable offer so you have the 143 times 75 percent is 107 and then the way that you can quickly come up with a rehab budget is as follows. And the more and more you do this, the way easier it's gonna to get to come up with rehab budgets. So I can look at pictures and come up with the budget or I can hear a description from a seller and have a rough budget just from experience. But when you're new, you gotta know how to do this. So if you're doing this and when you're talking to the seller, tell me about the condition Well, I've updated the kitchens and the bathrooms, all it really needs is paint and carpet. For a paint and carpet rehab, you can budget like six to eight dollars per square foot for the renovation. So if you have a 1200 square foot house, it's roughly $7,200 to go in there and paint it and do all new flooring, give or take a little bit of money. But if you're on the phone sitting there talking with the seller and they're like, yeah, you know, this needs a kitchen, this needs the bathroom, it needs paint, it needs flooring. So it's a full cosmetic renovation, including, you know, the kitchens, the vanities, the, the bathrooms, everything in between, full cosmetic you know, it's roughly 15 to $20 per square foot. So on a 1200 square foot house, it's right about $18,000, give or take a little bit to renovate this property on a cosmetic renovation. Now, if you have a full cosmetic renovation, plus like a roof or a furnace or an AC or something like that, you know, it's obviously gonna cost a little bit more money. So full cosmetic, plus some, you know, relatively bigger ticket items, you're gonna be in the 20 to $25 range for a full renovation per square foot. So if you base it on, again, on a 1200 square feet at $20, which is the low end, so keep that in mind, it'll be roughly a $24,000 renovation, give or take, but if it's on the high end, $25, it's obviously gonna be a lot more than that. And then if you got a house that you gotta completely gut, if they're like, yeah, you know, it was built in 1900, it's been vacant for 10 years, you gotta go in there and gut everything out to the studs and do framing and electrical and plumbing and HVAC and roof 
roof and windows and, and drywall and flooring and kitchen and bath. You got to do everything. Then it'd be like 55 to 75 dollars per square foot, give or take. So on a 1,500 square foot house, your renovation budget would be about 82 thousand dollars plus. So bigger, way bigger rehab. So again, these are rough numbers to get you in the ballpark. So there's other ways of doing this. You can break down, you know, kitchen costs and bathroom costs, flooring costs per square foot, painting costs. So there's other ways of doing this. This is just a quick example to get you in the ballpark of how much a renovation is actually gonna be. So you do that math based on the information that the seller is giving you. So let's say it's a full cosmetic rehab, 1200 square feet, multiplied by $15, which is about 18 grand. So we had 143, times 75% is 107, minus 18 grand is $89,000. So now your offer is 89 grand. The last thing you need to do is you need to subtract your wholesale fee. So if you wanna make five grand or 10 grand, you gotta subtract that from that 89,000. So let's say $9,000 is how much money you wanna make. Your maximum allowable offer is $80,000 to the seller. So this is literally step-by-step -step our process in making offers to sellers. So we take the inbound phone call, we ask them how their day was, how their weekend was, what do they have planned, and then start asking about the property and why they wanna sell. As they're doing that, we're on PropStream sitting there comping out the house and coming up with an ARV. And then as they tell us the condition of the property, we're thinking in our head what type of renovation it's gonna be and constructing a renovation budget. And by the time we get to the point of the conversation where money comes up, you know, which is three, five, seven, 10 minutes, 30 minutes into the conversation, we already know where we need to be. You know, the first phone call, you might not be able to do that all on the phone, but you know, tell the seller, you'll call him right back, give me 10 minutes to talk with my business partner, I'll call you right back, run the numbers, come up with your offer. But as you continue to do this, you'll literally be able to do it all on the phone. You won't have to hang up the phone call, you can build crazy rapport, at the same time, pulling an ARV from PropStream, coming up with a rehab budget, coming up with an offer all in sync without missing a beat. So this is how we do it all day, every day. We use PropStream. My team's on it literally all day. This is how we come up with ARVs. I'm gonna put a link in the description below that is uh, how we use PropStream to find cash buyers. So how we wholesale deals to find cash buyers, we use PropStream as well. So there's a link below on exactly how we use that. Um, and like I said, if this is a platform that you think would benefit you in your business, make sure you check the link in the description. It'll give you a seven day free trial to try PropStream out for free to see if it's a good fit for you and your business. So if this was valuable to you to find out exactly how to make offers, make sure you smash that like button for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can get all the content going forward. And if it didn't make sense, drop any questions below. I'll come in here, I'll answer those questions. So hopefully I can bring clarity for you. So as always, I appreciate you being here and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. What's up everyone? It's Austin Rutherford here. And I just personally want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my YouTube channel where we talk business, finance, real estate, and how to elevate your life. On this channel, you'll find everything from mindset to marketing, to wholesaling, to sales and negotiation, to flipping houses, to raising private money, to rentals, to Airbnbs, everything you need to run your own business, you can find on this channel, so make sure you take a look at it. But if you're one of those people who wanna work directly with me and build your own real estate company, make sure you check out thereblueprint.com thereblueprint.com. What this is, is it's a training and a duplicate of my business. Every way in my business where we make money right now, you get everything. It's from wholesaling, to marketing, to raising private money, to, to renovating houses, to flipping houses, to buying rental properties, and the mindset that allows you to do all those things. An in-depth look at everything inside of my business. And on top of that, you get all the documents that go along with it. You get all the scripts, you get all the templates, you get all the Excel spreadsheets, you get all the contracts, you get all the credibility packets. You get literally everything you need to run your own real estate company. And on top of all that, you get live coaching calls with me. So don't miss out on it. Make sure you check out thereblueprint.com. And again, if you have any suggestions on YouTube content, YouTube videos that you wanna hear more about, make sure you drop a comment in the description below. If you have something, let me know so we can get that content out to you as quickly as possible. Again, as always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, everything. Hope to see you on the next video. Peace.